so what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today is what engineering looks like at Waterloo um, and specifically a little bit about women in engineering at Waterloo and some of the things that women in engineering do here. Um, so we do have a dedicated committee for women in engineering um, and that is just within the faculty. There are other groups on campus, say in math and that, that have their own um, female and STEM advocacy groups. Um, so I'm going to talk also a little bit about engineering as a career choice, um, which is probably what you're interested in hearing about, considering it as a career. So the Faculty of Engineering is renowned for uniquely preparing the engineers and architects to tackle the hard problems facing humanity. So if you're an engineer, you're a problem solver and you're solving the problems that are the big ones facing society right now. So Waterloo is actually Canada's largest engineering school. Um, we've got over 8,000 undergraduate students, um, over 2,000 graduate students, a ton of faculty, a ton of staff, and a ton of alumni, and we're actually top 50 um, in terms of engineering schools in the world. So that's uh, pretty cool. For undergraduate learning at Waterloo, uh, we have over 2,000 female students enrolled specifically, so a pretty good group of others like yourselves in engineering here. Um, we've got 25 plus student design teams. So those are student groups that um, you're allowed to be a part of and join and they compete against other schools. So we have things like a concrete toboggan team um, or a Formula One car. Uh, they're all pretty cool projects that the students work on. Um, as you probably know, Waterloo is really well known for co-ops. So we have over 9,000 co-op placements within engineering. Um, I believe that's an annual number for the 2018-19 year. Um, and we have over 4,000 engineering employers specifically. So in terms of women in engineering at Waterloo, um, the first year enrollment um, numbers kind of vary by program. And you'll notice that the amount of women in each program varies as well. Overall, as a faculty, we're at about 30% right now which is great, we always are aiming to increase that number. Um, but some of our programs are a lot more female dominated than other ones. So you can kind of see um, electrical and computer engineering a little bit lower. Um, our biomedical program is, um, has got really great female enrollment. So there are those disparities between the program, um, just so you're aware. In terms of the overall engineering profession, um, there is a graph here that kind of shows how the breakdown um, happens on a more wide scale, not just at Waterloo Engineering. So it is still a very male-dominated field. So that is something to be aware of when choosing engineering. Should that um, should that make you not want to be an engineer? Definitely not. And I think our student presenters will really help drive that point home that um, women make really great engineers. Um, so why you're good for engineering? Um, having diverse perspectives is a really big part of this. So in designing any sort of solution that's going to be used by the masses, you want as many different groups at the table creating that solution. So if the group of people making a solution was all white men, they would probably design a solution that is best fitted to all white men and not necessarily women. So I think that one of the best examples for this is medical, uh, the medical field. Um, so if you're diagnosing something in a patient and you're only designing a solution that's being tested on male patients to begin with, then you're obviously forgetting women um, in the design of whatever disease or something you're testing for. Um, so having diverse perspectives in terms of gender is really important for designing any solution. Um, compassion is another thing that women tend to bring to the table that um, is also something that impacts the design of a solution um, when you're creating something like that. Um, Balance kind of ties into the diversity of thought things. So um, the more balance you have in terms of gender and race, obviously the solution that you create um, will be more balanced as a whole. Um, women are very creative and innovative. So those are always really great talents to bring to um, engineering as well. And a lot of times women tend to look at things with more of an interconnected and global perspective. So we tend to take a more holistic view than um, male counterparts might in a lot of cases. Um, so why engineering is good for you? Um, it offers you a ton of career choices. Um, you may think like, oh, I'm going into mechanical engineering. I'm just gonna work on cars. That's definitely not it. You can get a diverse amount of experiences through co-op, um, through your technical electives. There's a lot of ways you can branch out. Um, and 
a lot of engineering is based on like a design way of thinking. So you can kind of apply that to different sectors, different industries. Um, I think you'll find, again, listening to the student presentations that we have, that they've had a ton of different experiences on co-op um, that all tie back to the methodology of learning here at Waterloo. Um, industry growth, um, the world always needs engineers. They're kind of the ones driving um, a lot of innovation within society, whether it be in medicine, um, in infrastructure, uh, they're kind of tapped into a lot of really um, high demand fields. Um, it's also a great foundational degree. Like I said, um, engineering is a lot about design thinking. So if you have the ability to think like an engineer, it's gonna really serve you well in a lot of other areas in life. Um, whether you choose to pursue engineering further with a master's degree, go into the workforce, or go into a different research field entirely, um, it is a great starting point for you personally. Um, and that kind of ties into future opportunities as well. It's really a great way to unlock doors, um, especially engineering here at Waterloo, because you have the opportunity to do a lot of co-op. Um, you have six co-op terms, so you could work all of them at different companies. You could do them all at the same company and keep advancing within it. Um, the opportunity is really kind of up to you and uh, what you make of it, but it's, it's there and it's very diverse. Um, a lot of people find that engineering is very impactful work. So a lot of the time, whatever you're building or working on is going to be used by a large amount of people. Um, and a lot of engineers, while it is uh, kind of a big undertaking, they really enjoy that the things that they're doing impact society in a big way. Um, so what do engineers do? Um, engineers are people that use math and science to solve problems. So an engineer is someone that focuses on making things work more efficiently and more effectively for society. Um, there are many different kinds of engineers who design a lot of different things that people use every day, whether it's the car that you're taking to get to work, um, the phone that you have in your hand that you might be TikToking on, whatever it is, an engineer is probably behind it. Um, so there is, like I mentioned earlier, a big spectrum of engineering careers. You could be doing anything from the more theoretical side of things um, to the more hands-on practical side of things. Um, so that could be research, um, product design, development, you could be manufacturing, um, doing operations, business development, technical writing. The world is really your oyster uh, once you start with an engineering career. So Waterloo Engineering specifically, as I touched on, um, we do have a co-op program. 100% of our programs are co-op based. So that means no matter where you go within engineering, you're going to have co-op placements. Um, there are six co-op terms in total. So that works out to two years of work experience when you're done graduating, which a lot of students find helpful. A lot of the times it helps them get a job pretty much right away after graduation. Um, Waterloo Engineering is also very, also very entrepreneurial in nature, so we have programs specifically designed for student entrepreneurs like Concept, Velocity, um, as well as a enterprise co-op option. So that's where if you're working on um, your own entrepreneurial business, you can request that co-op count that as a business or as a co-op placement. So instead of going to work for a company for six, for four months, you could work for yourself. Um, we also have a cohort-based system, so that means that when you come in, you're starting um, in specialized programming specific to your type of engineering. So your first year classes will be with all software engineers if you're a software engineer, and that applies to all different types of engineers within Waterloo. Um, so a lot of people like this because they find that they get to know the people in their program really well, and it does result in smaller class sizes too. Um, it is a very structured program, so that is the one I guess somewhat downfall, um, although it totally depends on who you are as a person. Um, but a lot of people do find that the cohort-based system is really helpful um, when it comes to making friends in first year and getting to know everyone in your classes because it's always the same people. Um, and we do also have that women engineering group on campus. So that is made up of faculty members, staff members, um, undergrad students, grad students, postdocs, um, alumni. There's a ton of different um, advocates in all areas of engineering and what that group does is really focuses on uh, women in engineering specific initiatives and diversity initiatives um, in that area. And so a little more on the women in engineering group and how you might interact with them once you're here. Uh, we do do a welcome barbecue in the fall. Uh, so that's where we invite everyone out um, and you can meet other women in engineering across the years. Props come out. It's really just fun um, low-key sort of welcome event 
for you to attend. Um, we're also working on doing more mentoring programs and workshops. Um, so that could be building uh, competency and technical skills. So we could do a machine workshop where you're using power tools and that sort of thing. Um, those are some of the types of programming that this group offers. Um, there's also professional development. Um, there's people within the faculty and women in engineering that will help you prepare um, with your interview skills for first year um, and working in industry because it is such a male dominated industry. We are progressing, but a lot of the time uh, your superiors in the job won't necessarily have the same gender parity that you have in your classes. Um, so there are people that you can talk to to prepare for um, what it's like working in a heavily male dominated workplace. Um, we also have networking conferences that you can attend. Um, there's a women in engineering living learning community. I believe it's the um, first of its kind in Canada. So what this community is, is a group, um, a residence floor that's just for women in engineering. So you can apply to uh, be part of that group when you apply to residence. Um, and it's really focused on building a community of women, not necessarily in the same engineering program as you, but women that are also in engineering and are probably having really similar experiences. Um, as you are coming into university um, and into a STEM field like engineering. Uh, we also do more lighthearted social events, so yoga, movie nights, there was a tarot card reading one recently, and a lot more. So there's a lot of opportunities to meet um, people like you within engineering. And I think that's about all that I have for today. Um, if you have any admissions related questions, we have an email, enginfo at urlu.ca. They'll be able to answer any of your admissions questions. Um, we also have a really great engineering ambassador team, so you can find them at the URL included in the presentation there. Um, they offer really great services for prospective students like you. Um, so some of those might be shadow days where you can come and follow around an actual engineering student in the program you're interested in for the day. Or if you can't come to campus, they offer things like ENG chats where you can just chat over Skype um, with an engineering student in the program you're interested in. So it's a great way to get to know a little bit more about um, what the program is that you're interested in and the life of an engineering student. So I'd really um, recommend that you check them out too. And that is it for my presentation today. 